Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how you can automatically execute Python scripts within Windows 10. I have a Python script up in idle, which is my IDE. And if you want to follow along with me, you can import Y Finance and Pandas. What this script does is it is going to pull in stock data for Apple. And I have a existing spreadsheet that I am going to update with the script. Within the spreadsheet, I have three columns. The first two are the bid price and ask price for Apple shares. And the last column is the time in which those bid price and ask price are being quoted. What I want to do is I want to run the script to update the current bid ask price. What it is going to do first is it is going to read in the existing Apple spreadsheet. Then I'm going to create a second pandas data frame that is going to have the current bid ask price as well as the time in which those are being quoted. Finally, it is we're going to concatenate those two data frames together or combine them and we're going to overwrite the Excel spreadsheet. We can run this and take a look if we did this, wrote this script out correctly. And we can see that we have the updated bid ask prices and we're well after the close of the market on the weekend. So this won't update as I continuously run this. Just to keep that in mind, let's go back. And what I want to do is I want to automate this. I don't want to manually run this script each time to get this data. So what we'll do is we can use task schedule scheduler within Windows to do this. I'm going to minimize this and I am going to bring up our command prompt. What I'll do first is I am going to access the task scheduler. And the way that we could do this is I'll do this from the command prompt. I am going to type out tasks, chd, mc, msc, and this will bring up the task scheduler. And from here, I can create a new task in order to automate our Python script. The way that we do that is we're going to create a task and from here, I am going to name it and I'm just going to call this Apple Scrape. Now that we have the name, we are going to go to triggers. And what this is going to do is we're going to tell Windows how we want this task to be executed. And what I want this to do is we want to do it on a schedule. You can do it after other events, such as once you log in or at startup after an idle or during a certain event. But I think for most people, they're just going to have it on a schedule. You can select how often this task will be run, whether it's daily, weekly or monthly. I'll just click on daily and it will give you the time that it recurs. You can play around with that. I am going to set this for 41. And what I am going to also do is I am going to make this repeat. And I want to repeat this. We'll set this for every one minute. You unfortunately can't do it less than one minute for this Windows 10 version. Maybe they'll update it at some point. We'll see. Okay, so I have my trigger set. And next, I need the actual action itself. We're going to create a new one and we need to input a few different things into this prompt. What I am going to first do is I am going to add an argument. So this is going to be the file that you want executed. In this case, it's the name of the script that we created is called applescrape.py. And I'm going to also give it a location. In my case, I just have it in my downloads. And we can, if you want to bring it up yourself, you can get the path up here within Windows, or you can also use the command line, whatever you find easier. And then finally, I also need to tell it what we're executing this with. And this, in this case, it's going to be the Python executable. One of the few ways where we can grab it is from the command line, we can ask where Python. 
and we have the executable that we want to run which is going to execute our script we just copy and paste it in there we're going to hit OK and then I am going to finalize everything and hit OK and we can see at the very top it's actually running right now or actually apologies it has not run yet but it will run and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit run and I am going to let this run one or two times and I'll fast forward through this now that we've executed the python script a few times what I am going to do is I am going to end the task under selected items I'm going to hit end task and end the task that's finished running and what we'll do next is finally check our spreadsheet to make sure that it's been updated. And we can see that it has been updated. If we look, we can see that we have those one minute intervals between the last two rows. And we were able to successfully update the spreadsheet. And this is the conclusion. I hope that this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and GitHub. Thanks everyone for watching and happy coding.